Hello everyone, this is Garrett and this is Sirius Sam 2. We are about to do level 26, Kingsburg. And here we go. We are gonna go Proceed around. Towards the king's castle. Around this place. This place is pretty well built. It is uh, filled with wonderful NPCs that look very human. And uh, they they made it, made sure that you cannot jump on any of their heads. Except for this one. Which is kind of interesting. Because it leads you to places that... You wouldn't really expect to be able to go. One of which is on top of this wall. Quick save. And the reason why is sort of interesting is because this is solid. And also somehow we got this weapon. I don't know where or when, but we just sort of got it in between levels. But that's solid. That isn't. You can see that the crosshair change. And that is actually the void as per usual. And interestingly enough, you can actually just sort of jump on top of this right here. And from here you jump on the roof. And from here you can jump from rooftop to rooftop all the way to the end of the level. And only do the final battle. And actually just skip all other enemies in this level by just going like this and uh... Just making your way forward. There's a couple of invisible walls that are trying to block you, but usually you can sort of jump around them. <laughs> it's really silly, but it's a thing you can do. But we're just gonna do it normally. I just figured I'd point that out in case you were having difficulty. You can actually just skip most of it. But before we're going to the right, we are going to the left where there is a secret area waiting for us. It's about time we actually have a chance to use this weapon like once because there's a bunch of sparkles. And if we walk into sparkles, has been found. we can get that, which is nice. Because uh, those guys have a lot of health, and now now we had a chance to use a sniper rifle. It's not too bad, honestly, but it's just a shame that it takes slightly more than one shot to kill just about anything on this difficulty. That is actually worthwhile to like shoot with one of these. Although the bulls are actually pretty weak against the sniper rifle, so there is that. But most of the enemies we're going to be fighting here today are the footballers. So we're probably not going to be using this weapon too much, especially since it's impossible to use this weapon and use grenades at the same time considering the zoom in button and throw grenade button is the same button which is a bit of an issue but we're just gonna try to make some use out of this gun for a change actually start shooting some people and there's a lot of enemies here there's really quite a large amount of enemies that we'll be fighting in this particular level but that's fine because we have a minigun we have Sniper rifle, we have just about anything. We have 30 grenades. In hindsight, probably should have killed these guys first and then gone for the secret area with the grenades in it, but whatever. It doesn't really matter too much. We can do whatever we want. We don't really need to do the optimal way because the optimal way just takes a lot more time. And you don't really get any benefit for it, honestly. This works just as well. Maybe this is actually a little bit of a better way to, to just shoot with the shotgun first and then use that lovely sniper rifle because you really only need to hit them one more time afterwards to actually take them down. And there's quite a lot of enemies here as well. Like, we're just sort of sitting here waiting for all these enemies to be dead. I think I might actually just start switching to the rocket launcher and just sort of aim that general direction. Though rockets are kind of useful in the next level as well. So you don't want to use all of them, obviously, but I think we'll be getting some here anyway, so we can just do whatever you want. This, this entire plan is just kind of, just, just be careful. Just stay away from scary things. And you'll probably not die. You'll, you'll probably be okay. You can sort of just do whatever you want. It's, it's a party planet, and we're here to party. We're not here to be in pain. We're just here to sort of sit still in one area and just keep shooting at things. Plus, there's spiders. 
Who doesn't love a good batch of spiders? We do actually sort of want to keep one rocket for that secret power up over there because it's kind of useful. I'll just shoot it now actually so it falls down. And then move forward. We're almost at the end by the way. Uh, this is a really really short level. And uh, before I forget anything. There is also one more secret area over here. Don't know why this is a secret item. But it counts as one. And the game does what the game does. And I'm actually going to move forward as quickly as possible. Because if we can start the final battle with this power-up active, it's just going to be a little bit easier. There's also a couple of uh, the zombie dudes. The zombie shotgunners. And taking them down with a damage power-up and a minigun. It takes milliseconds, honestly. And they're the only real danger here. I really couldn't see that guy. <laughs> but now that we picked that up, that thing falls from the sky. That dude spawns. And now we just sort of sit here and wait for enemies to spawn a lot. Takes a while, but eventually it happens. Arguably, you could spawn this and then immediately sort of run back to that double damage power up. Also, that guy, he's kind of annoying. But it doesn't really matter too much, as I've said numerous times now. This, you can just sort of do whatever. It'll probably work. You're mostly fighting clowns, and the clowns don't really care too much. The clowns just sort of die anyway. And there's also a couple of those ball enemies, but as long as we have a minigun, which we do, and we'll be pretty much unloading the enti entire thing here, but that's fine. As long as you have that minigun, it'll be okay. It's fine. If you don't have the minigun, use rockets. If you don't have a rocket launcher, use shotgun. It, it'll all work. <laughs> just keep your distance from things, and you won't die. Everything is possible in this place. Plus, there's actually a pretty large amount of rockets in this level anyway, so you can just sort of get a whole bunch of those. You can just do whatever. Everything's okay. Everything works. Just believe in yourself. Believe in yourself and keep your distance from the nasty things in life. And eventually, the game will run out of enemies to throw at you. And things will be okay. Any second now, the door to the next level will open. Like I said, this is just a really, really small level. And the most interesting thing about it is that you can skip almost everything. Because there's only really a couple of triggers in this level. And I kind of want to have those ammo boxes, but... They're, actually, they're not that far away, so I might as well just grab them now. Just to have a little bit of extra ammo. Just to have a little bit more time to talk about stuff in this place. But yeah, you can... If you're using the rooftops, you can get just about everywhere without actually hitting the triggers that spawn enemies and as long as you just hit that last one which is the one over there by just walking into that door I, i'm not sure if the heart is actually there at all times like the 100 health power but that's fine because if you don't fight anything you'll have a decent amount of health to do this i don't think i even took damage in this battle so you'll probably be okay and the level exit is over there that's it But at least we got that little cutscene as our reward for beating the level. So at least there's that. But that was level 26, I believe. And as such, it is the end of this video. So I hope you enjoyed it so far. And the next time we play, we are going to do level 27, which is the Royal Sewers. Bye-bye.